everyone, let's have a weekend reading vlog. It's Friday morning and I'm not working today. I took the day off to sleep and rest and it didn't work. I've been on a very bad sleep cycle for weeks now. I wake up a lot at night, I lie awake at night and then at five, around five, the night ends and I can't sleep anymore. I don't really have to get up till seven. So there's been a lot of extra reading time, but a lot of lack of sleep. And last night wasn't any different. I spent half the night awake and started reading Laufen. This is a German book. It's mostly stream of consciousness. It follows this young woman. She's not young anymore. She's 43. It follows this woman who's trying to deal with the loss of her partner who committed suicide and she picks up running again. So the chapters talk about her thoughts while she's running. In the beginning, there's a lot of, I need to stop running. My legs are too heavy. This is exhausting. Why am I doing this? How far can I go? Throughout the chapters, you realize how she's getting better at running, how she's dealing with life. She, you learn more about her life, about the relationship she had and her life, the what she's doing and things like that. And as a runner, I find this very interesting because there are a lot of thoughts that you have while running, but also she's using running to run away from her pain or replacing pain with a different pain. And we all have done that before. And I really enjoy the writing. Stream of Consciousness really reads fast. Like I said, I'm halfway through the book already and I enjoyed it. Before we move on, the clicking that is always happening when I'm using this camera, I can't get rid of it. Apparently it's a camera issue, so I'm really, really sorry. I set all the settings to minimize it, but if it's still there, it's just something that we have to deal with until I figure out how to audio edit it out, if that is possible. But until I have the time for that, that's going to take long. I'll talk to you later. Saturday morning, I'm about to go running in the cold and rain. Hmm. Let's see how long I last. But before that, I wanted to tell you that I finished Laufen. This book continued in the way that I mentioned before. It's stream of consciousness, the thought that the woman has while she's running and it's progressing or processing the loss and the past life, the guilt she has, the feelings she has about the relationship and the everything that's going on, the grieving process, basically. It's a very good book. It's very easy to read. It's very well portrayed, the feelings you have when you lose someone and how to deal with that and how to start life again and not feel guilty about starting life again and not blaming yourself for someone else taking their lives as if you could do anything about that. And I would recommend it to everyone, but it's just out in German. So you need to speak German to read it. And be aware that it's dealing with grief and suicide. So if you're triggered by that, of course, this is not a book for you. As I said, I'm about to go running now and I'm currently listening to Turncoat by Jim Butcher, which is the 11th book in the Dress File series. So I'm not going to go into details, but I am enjoying it. It has high stakes. There is a lot going on. I'm halfway through and it's, yeah, it's a good one. I feel that the books are getting better or less annoying. The stories have always been good, but Harry and his character and the descriptions, some of his parts are tropey and annoying and chauvinistic. And so I can understand if you don't want to get into that. But the urban fantasy, the magic, all the things around the stories themselves are rather captivating. I'll talk to you later. Saturday afternoon. I have to leave the house at some time again today, but at the moment I'm a little bit too tired. So I decided to sit down and read and pick up Lemon. It's, I don't actually know what it is, but I keep hearing about it and apparently it's very fast paced and captivating and good. So it's only a hundred pages. I thought what better read to pick up and see what everybody's talking about. I have the feeling I might not like it, but I don't know. We'll see, I'll update you later. Quick update, I read half of Lemon and I remembered why I thought I wouldn't like it. I heard it described as a murder mystery thriller and that's something I usually don't really read because it doesn't do anything for me. But this is quite captivating and fun. This whole thing circles around a murder of a schoolgirl that happened in the past. And we hear first person narration about people that were somehow connected, like her sister, the murder suspect, or someone else that was in school with her. And they talk about different things they heard about the murder and different things where they are in life. And it's, I don't know if we want to solve the murder, if it's how it affected all the people, what's the main goal or the 
end goal of all of this. But the writing is very captivating. It's fast paced. It's funny at times. It's very endearing. And I don't know, it's really captivating. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't have like murder mystery trope things of someone going out to find out who did it and we don't know who did it. There's a lot of things where you're left in the dark, even as you're reading, you have to find out who is the narrator now. And that sometimes takes a little bit. And I like that. Despite it being captivating, I made myself put it down now because I want to revise the last five lessons of Pimsleur's Korean one. I've been doing that the whole week before I want to continue on with the second unit. And I have the last five lessons today that I want to revise. I'm not really in a mood and it's going to take another two and a half hours, but I've been very happy with the revision process this week and I would be unhappy with myself if I put it off just to finish the novel that I can finish off tomorrow anyways or later on. So see you later. Sunday afternoon, I finished Lemon. I don't know where I got the idea that this was a thriller or a murder mystery, but it wasn't anyways. The book continues with different snippets of the lives of people that were connected to the murder and then it just ends. And I feel I liked it. It was very captivating. It's easy to read. It's very interesting how it looks at how the murder affected all the people that we read about and how that affected their lives and how they dealt with the situation and what happened. But there is no closure, there's no solution, it just ends because life goes on and this could go on forever, but it's we're in the present now. So I liked it, like I said, I could recommend it as a fast read. It's a very captivating read, but I don't know what I wanted to tell me exactly as to what the murder was about. And this is where I'm going to end the vlog as I'm not going to finish anything else on this weekend. I started reading The Apprenticeship or the Book of Pleasures, I think it's what it's called, but I'm a little confused. I have trouble getting into the writing. I'm about 15 pages in. It's also just a hundred page or something novel or novella. And at the moment, I'm confused if this is a strange relationship story about an older man and a younger woman where the older man is trying to form the woman, but the woman is also playing games. Basically, they're both playing games, but they're in love, but I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I haven't figured out what happens yet. So, and I'm definitely not going to finish that this weekend because I'm super tired. I don't know. I wanted to get more rest this weekend and I got a lot of rest, but still every day felt I was getting tired and more tired and more tireder, more tireder. I hope you enjoyed the reading vlog despite not much happening. I didn't do much, but I read, so talked about books. Let me know in comments if you've read any of the books or if you are interested in the books, what you did this weekend. Did you have a good reading weekend? Let's talk about this. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.